Well, tonight's Better Call Harry is setting a record for recovered funds. It started with a plea from the human resource director at Park and Fly, the airport's oldest off-site shuttle service. She's been trying to get her employees their unemployment benefits for months. Benefits worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I want to say that if it wasn't for this stupid virus, I'd be giving you the hugest hug. Barbara Moore's quest to get two dozen park and fly employees their unemployment benefits is complete. As of Monday, backdated benefits are processing an estimated $300,000 or more. They're just beyond thrilled. Back in March, when people stopped flying, the shuttle services took a big hit, including park and fly. 53 years in business. Most of its furloughed employees got paid, except for 24, whose names were accidentally processed backwards. I'm sorry, we are currently experiencing system problems. Barbara tried reaching Georgia's Department of Labor, but with no dedicated line for HR and more than 30,000 calls daily, it didn't happen. We just couldn't get anywhere. The amount of time we spent on the phone, getting disconnected, listening to ringing phones, ending up nowhere. You run the risk of infecting an entire office. With COVID spiking, Labor Commissioner Mark Butler's decision to keep offices closed to the public reduced the risk of exposure. While it's processed more than 2 million claims, Butler has not announced plans to allow people to book appointments online. We know it's going to happen, but we don't know when. Now that $300,000 in benefits are going out, Park and Fly is hoping it will eventually bring everyone back. At least they're off the ground. My head is in the clouds. If your employer filed a claim for you and you haven't heard anything, I'd start with your employer. Do not file an additional claim because that will slow down the process even more. I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.